What's going on guys, it's Shadow Elite here, and uh, this is some gameplay of Lollipop Chainsaw while I go about this rant right here. And the reason I'm playing Lollipop Chainsaw is pretty much because this whole week, or the following week coming up, I'm going to re be recharging my batteries when it comes to playing JRPGs. Because the week after next, Record of Augurus War 2 comes out, and that game is going to be awesome. It's also going to be monotonous, grind heavy, a grind fest. It's going to be so tedious that I'm going to need every ounce of my JRPG willingness and commitment to play the game. So, um, this whole week, I'm taking a break. Anyway, Lollipop Chainsaw, it's a good game. The combat, it's a little bit, um, it, it, it needs polish. It needs so much polish, you know. She, Juliet, the main character, she feels kind of sluggish. But, uh, overall, the game is, like I said before, it's a good game. I mean, the, um, story, the characters is awesome. The, the setting is over a top as you can come from. You know, I like Normal Heroes. And this is the same studio that, um, made Normal Heroes. But it's a good game. You guys should check it out if you have, um, you know, extra money or if you can rent it. Anyway, guys, this is basically a video on the PlayStation Vita because I see so many people just constantly bashing the the portable and just giving it such crap you know I don't think those people have actually held the um, thing in their hands for themselves or or you have even played any games for it just yet they just letting reviews and let internet talk sway their de decision now me personally I want a PlayStation Vita at E3 it really didn't help that it didn't really announce any real games for the PlayStation Vita. I mean, sure you had Assassin's Creed and you had um, Black Ops 2, Black Ops Declassified for the um, PlayStation Vita, but uh, you know, there's really like nothing else. We expected more, um, basically a montage of all the new upcoming games that would be released for the system. But as of right now, there really isn't anything to get you know casuals hyped up for it and that's why i'm just seeing a lot of casual hate now um when i get a playstation video i haven't gotten it just yet i'm gonna get a couple of games before it and i'm gonna get a couple of games that i know that will be released down the line and i'll get those games but right now it just seems like the playstation vita is a 250 dollar investment because guys i know what the plan for the playstation vita is i can pretty much you know, tell from the success, or if you want to call it success, from the PSP, I pretty much know that there's going to be a lot of good games available for the PlayStation Vita, just like there was for the PSP. For me, especially, the PSP was a um, was a great place to go for JRPG gaming. I mean, it had good games like uh, Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII, Y7, E7, whatever you want to call it, uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. You know, the... Um, the list just goes on and on. You know, without the PSP, I wouldn't have gotten the Parasite Eve sequel that, you know, that came out for the third birthday. So I'm glad the PSP was invented, you know, so I can play some um, games on it. But now back to the Vita is that, you know, it's getting a lot of hate for it for being out for four months. What is it, four months or five months now? I'm not sure. I think it's been like four months. Even so, it hasn't been out that long. And there's not that many um, worthwhile, I would say, system sellers for it. I mean, sure, you got Uncharted. And um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, like, other than that, you know, all the other games are just games that you can have for your place in the video. It doesn't mean you go out and get the system for the... Um, for the game. And like I said, some games I want to play for the place in the video are Disgaea 3. Persona 4 The Golden Wind comes out, Ragnarok Odyssey, um, there are a lot of games I want to play for the PlayStation Vita, but, uh, right now it just seems like a $250 investment, like, I'm investing $250 to a, to a system, to something that I know is gonna have a good, prospering future in the long run, because right now it's just, it's $250, you don't get a memory card, and you have to get a game. So you're over $300, no matter how you look at it. You are over $300. You're basically playing $300 for the system to enjoy it, at least. Now, I've seen what the PlayStation Vita can do. I mean, my dad has a PlayStation Vita. He, um, he plays games. Yeah, that's right. My dad plays games. He's better than your dad. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, I've seen it. I've seen Gravity Rush. Now, look, now it, I don't think it does people any justice to see Gravity Rush on a review site or online or on YouTube or anything like that. You actually have to have the game in your hand to experience how good it looks on that PlayStation Vita. It really looks amazing. I mean, you have more games like this, the PlayStation Vita would be would just I wouldn't say fly off shelves, but it would do much better than it's doing right now. And I can't because most people that hate the PlayStation Vita hasn't haven't really played anything for the PlayStation Vita. 
they don't know anything about it. Anyway, um, I guess there's some the things I don't like about the PlayStation Vita other than its price point is its touch screen controls because the whole touch screen, the whole um, the system, like I don't know, the main the dashboard, I guess you could say, the dashboard is all touch screen. It's all touch screen. You can't use the D-pad for nothing in the game. So it, it oh, well, not in the game, in the, um, in the um, s um, dashboard. So it kind of sucks that you know all the stuff is being used on the dashboard, and you can't you know use the directional buttons for it. And I also don't like the fact that new games or every single game that's coming out for the PlayStation Vita utilizes, not even utilizes it, or just they just throw in the touch screen enabled controls, which is just stupid. In my opinion, the touch screen controls in the early run, in the early running of the of PlayStation Vita is fine because you know developers and Sony they want to get out to get it out there that the um that the PlayStation Vita is touch screen friendly, but Implementing games, implementing your um, hardcore games with a touchscreen interface, just it's just it's just annoying. There's no other word for it. It's just annoying. I hope in the like in the years to come that less games utilize touchscreen function for something that's not known, like selecting a gun on um I believe it was Resistance or something like that. You had to use a touchscreen for that. That's yeah, just stupid. And Gravity Rush, I played the demo for Gravity Rush. You had to touch the boss to finish it off. I mean, like why? That, that's just there's no point in doing that. Anyway, like I said, right now it's like a two hundred fifty dollar investment. You're investing into a system that's going to give you enjoyment in the long run. Right now, it's not going to give you much entertainment in terms of games, but I think the bashing towards it is really unnecessary. I mean, like, I mean, people just automatically thought the PlayStation Vita was going to fail before it even launched. Even in Japan, they just thought the PlayStation Vita was going to fail. And I can't stand people that say that PlayStation Vita is failing. This has only been out for four months. What system do you know? Anything that came out has been out in four months that has good uh, has a good running. I had I didn't even see as much hate for the three D S. The three D S didn't have that much it, it came when the first when three D S first came out, it came at a two hundred fifty dollar price point. Nobody bitched about the two hundred fifty dollar price point. Not as much as they are bitching about the PlayStation Vita. And then I don't know how long it was, like four or five months, or I think it was six months, I don't know. It went down to one eighty. So you know the sales weren't doing as good as Nintendo's were. The sales were failing. The 3DS failed. And they had to drop the price. Yeah, I saw nobody around bitching that the 3DS was a failure. Not as much as the um, PlayStation V is being bashed. I just don't understand it. Obviously, the people that are bashing it haven't had the console. Haven't played the, the PSP much. And they don't know anything about what the potential of the um, system is. That's what I just hate about it, you know. I just can't have, I just can't stand when people bash it and they don't know nothing about it. Anyway, guys, like I said, I ain't planning to get a PlayStation Vita very soon. I know there's only one or two games available for it right now that I'm going to get. And um, that's also another thing about the games is that I hope that the PlayStation Vita doesn't become a um, uh, a breeding ground of uh, breeding ground of HD collections. I mean, it's kind of annoying. I mean, you got the Final Fantasy X HD HD remake coming out. You got uh, Zony Enders HD remake coming out. I believe the Metal Gear remake is already coming out. And um, I already have these games. I've already played these games to death. Why would I want to buy them again on my system so I can take them anywhere I want? It's kind of a stretch there, but the game is 40 bucks. Even so, I mean, like, Persona 4 The Golden isn't really doesn't really count because... There's a whole lot of other things the game offers. It's more than just a remake. It's the definitive version of the game. So, guys, let me know what you guys think about the PlayStation Vita in the comments area. You think it's a failure? Do you think in the long run it will fail? Or you think in the long run it will be the go-to portable system? Uh, do you think that it will be much, much better down the line? Or is it just going to be, you know, abysmal throughout? I don't think it's going to be abysmal throughout. I think it's going to... Um, I think it's going to flourish. I mean, at E3, Sony was excited over that guy. I forgot his name. I don't know his name, but he was excited that the PS1 classics are going to be available for PlayStation Vita. I'm like, seriously, bro? That functionality should have been available from the get-go. 
But I can understand that you want to sell PlayStation videos and you want to sell games with PlayStation videos at first because it's just a business decision. I mean, if you have PS1 games available, people, some people, a small majority of people, will say, oh, I'll just buy some PS1 games I haven't played and just play those games and blah, blah, blah. You know, some people are doing that right now with their PlayStation video. They don't have anything to play. They just buy um, PSP games. And that's fine, too. I mean, you, you have to have those. Sony knew they had to have PSP games accessibility because if they didn't the sales of the PS Vita would be even lower than it is right now. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on the PlayStation Vita and uh, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. Later.